Hey, you guys. What's going on? Uh, David here, and uh, we're going to do a quick chat, and then we're going to do a bit of a reading, and then we're going to have a little meditation. So stick with us. Um, you know, have you ever... Have you ever felt crazy? Like, really, like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? What's wrong with me? <laughs> you know? And, and uh, like... Uh, normal people, we call them normies that are not, you know, real addicts and alcoholics. Uh, like, you know, uh, they feel that way too, you know, and, and yet they don't go to uh, drugs and alcohol uh, for medication. And, and uh, where the alcoholic and the addict does, you know, and uh, whatever the addiction may be. What, what if maybe we're all suffering from addiction in some way? You know, if we're not connected to our higher power, if we're not living a kind of a spiritually based life, we're we're living in addiction. Um, tell me what what would you know? What's your addiction? What is your go to? Is it food? You know, is it TV? Is it your iPhone? <laughs> Right, you know those addictions don't seem to kill us, but they numb us out. We miss the moment, you know. And the symptoms of the addiction is complaint, judgment, fear, right? And uh, those are symptoms of 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 a separation from from source, from our higher power. How would you like to live happy, joyous, and free? And, and so I'm not talking about any particular religion or any particular type of, of uh, concept of God. <clears throat> Just recognizing that for the addict and the alcoholic, if we don't have this spiritual awakening, this spiritual experience that's a, an ongoing thing, it's, a, it's part of our, our daily life, that we... Um, we go back, you know, we, we're back living in pain. We're back uh, complaining about uh, all the players in the show. We're back trying to run the show. We're back uh, trying to make our world so small that it's uh, controllable, you know, and, and we control it with anger and we control it with manipulation and we try to, to keep it running smoothly. And it's a, fuck, it's tiring, you know, and... and uh, uh, many of us know people like that, and some some of us are. I mean, we are that, and and of course, if you're living that way, generally you're in denial. Because that comes with the the deal, right? Yeah, you, it it you know we're complaining about other people, but we're in denial about ourselves. And and uh, but if you wake up, if you say, "Holy shit, that is me," you know, I am living in complaint. I am living in fear. You know, I am living in judgment of others, and uh, and I feel separate, and and uh, um, and not connected to community through love. You know, and and uh, um, you know the twelve steps are not the only way to feel this connectedness and this love. It, you know, and be one with the universe. It's not the only way. It just is a way, and it does work, and it includes all the other ways as well. You know, just w we need to remember that ego slash insanity is uh, is cunning. You know, it's it doesn't just go away. It's like oh, it's there waiting for its opportunity somehow. You know, whether it was a bit of a trick. You know, we got to come here to this this playground called life, and. Uh, um, but somehow we got disconnected from 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 love and the source, you know, not all of us, but but lots of us. And, and uh, so but the who took over the reins ego says, yeah, yeah, I got this. I got this, you know, as it runs us against the wall, as it, you know, as it, you know, shatters our life. In, in, in many cases, you know, uh, for the alcoholic and the addict, the serious uh, uh, substance abuser ends up in it ends up in death or insanity. You know, and we watch them so quickly lose their homes and their families and guys that have, have at one time it's been working, you know, and then it falls apart. And so, anyway, 
uh, serious business. And, and so if you're out there, this is just my tip for the day, if you're out there and, uh, you know, and, and you see that your friend is living in fear or in complaint, you know, make that call and say, hey, how you doing? At this time, especially with what's going on within our, in our world with this, uh, you know, the pandemic, it's almost like our, our, the war of this generation. Many of us miss, miss the, the big wars. This is like the big war. It's global. You know, we're all, nobody's exempt. We're all part of it. And uh, um, to reach out and, and, and send some love, you know. And the more people that we share our love with, the more love we have, you know. Make that phone call today. Reach out every day. Every day reach out to somebody that, you know, and just say, hey, how you doing? Make that phone call. You know, if you don't know who to call, go on social media for 10 minutes and there's somebody uh, crying out for help. You know, just go on for 10 minutes and, and read some of the posts and you'll see there's lots of people that want, you know, help. And then if you're talking to them, point them to that inner voice, point them to that nowness, to the oneness, to the isness, to that, you know. And uh, yeah, so I'd like to hear today from you. What's uh, what's your go-to addiction? Just you know, one word. It you know, is it work? You know, is it? Do we get lost in our kids? Sometimes that can happen. You know, um, just whatever it is that takes us out of the moment that we want to use to avoid what's happening now, what we're feeling. You know. Uh, can be our addiction, you know. Or maybe we're addicted to an idea or a belief, you know. Uh, maybe we're addicted to, um, like uh, a belief, yeah. Like, like say the the uh, politics in, in the United States. Maybe some of that is addiction, you know. It's fear based, uh, and and uh, um, you know. We could stand in the middle of all of that, breathing, one, being light, you know, recognizing that nothing's missing. It's possible. Anyway, that's my little chat for today. Cunning, baffling, and powerful is ego, you know, and the possibility is to live happy, joyous, and free. It really is. I <laughs> Nothing is missing, you know, and if you if you're wondering, is that me? Am I, you know, am I, are you or am I, you know, uh, living kind of disconnected from source or higher power? If you're wondering, is that me? Um, hmm. Where did my watch go? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Da -da. Da -da. Well... I guess we're gonna go without it. I can find another timekeeper for me. But I wonder if that me, addicted to always wanting to always be better. It's exhausting. Yes, you don't have to be better. <laughs> there is no better, uh, in a way, right? It's a, it's a. They just show the destiny that you would think like da, 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 See, So this kind of uh, da, 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 uh, This idea of wanting to be better is based in an idea of not good enough. You know, so just be what you are in this moment. And, and if we're present, I'm going to we'll talk about it in the meditation a little bit. If we're present in this moment, we, we, we actually start to realize who we are. We, we become one with the moment. We are one with the moment already. We just realize it's like, oh, what we're trying to improve is the persona. It's a huge business. People are selling self-improvement, Right? Fall asleep. Self improvement. It's huge. I spent years in it, you know, personal growth, and, and uh, all with an idea that I could become a better human being. And that's not necessary. As we grow in our, in our um, relationship with our higher power, with the moment, the power of now, as we grow in that nowness, uh, we become our natural selves, which is unconditional love. How do you like that? Okay, I like that. Natural selves. Uh, so then the chances of, for us to be 
uh, judging disappear. Judgment goes away. Yes. All right. Hmm. Okay, you guys, I'm just setting uh, uh, the clock thing. Hi, Shelly. Rob. Uh, what day is it? The 10th. The 10th of November. Oh. Okay, we're reading from the 24-hour day book. It's a beautiful little piece. Am I less self-centered, it says. Thought for the day. Am I less self-centered? The world used to revolve around who? Yes, the world used to revolve around me. And uh, hi, Ravi. Good to see you, brother. I cared more about myself, my own needs and desires, my own pleasure, my own way, than I did about the whole rest of the world. What happened to me was more important than anything else I could think of. I was selfishly trying to be happy, and therefore, I was unhappy most of the time. I have found that selfishly seeking pleasure does not bring to happiness. Imagine. I mean, that's a realization. That's like, holy shit. That's big. Thinking of myself all the time cut me off from the rest of life, from the best of life. The 12 steps taught me to care less about myself and more about the other fellow. And that's what happens. As we serve, we live in service. It just falls together. It just falls together. Because if I'm at the center of the picture, I'm always going to be in fear, right? I'm always going to be, what about me? Right? And been there, baby. Meditation for the day. What sometime, when something happens to upset you and you are discouraged, try to feel that life's difficulties and troubles are not intended to arrest your progress in the spiritual life. Let me try that again. Meditation for the day. When something happens to upset you and you are discouraged, feel, it says, that life's difficulties and troubles are not intended to arrest your progress on the spiritual plane, but to test your strength and to increase your determination to keep going. Whatever it is that must be met, you are to either overcome it or use it. And I don't know if I like the word overcome. I think um, to just be with it, overcome, don't go over it, just go into it, just be it. Nothing should daunt you for long, nor should any difficulty entirely overcome or conquer you. God's strength will always be there, waiting for, your, to, for you to use. Nothing can be too great to be overcome or if not overcome, then used. It's a nice, you know, direction. It really is. No, no matter what happens, you know, you lose your job, you know, recognize it as this is the path. This is the path. You know, somebody passes away. This is life. Life on life's terms is what he's talking about. Be with it. No judgment. Don't make it right or wrong. Just, oh, look at this. Who's to say? We don't know. Like the old Zen monk who had the horses, right? I'll tell you the horse story another time, you know, but who knows? We just don't know. So we can actually never need to be in complaint because life is just freaking wonderful. <laughs> Even if you don't think so, we'll get you there. Stay with us. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may know that there can be no failure with God. No right or wrong, no winning or losing. It just is. I pray that with his help, I can live a more peaceful, serene life. Awesome. So I'm actually gonna set the timer today when we meditate. And uh, so that uh, we're going to be, we're going to sit for like 15 minutes. Ravi, you going to meditate with us? You in a comfortable spot? That's part of the deal. Find yourself a really comfortable spot. Okay? And uh, 
we're gonna have some time together and just as we, we've been doing these meditations in the morning because it became obvious to me that um, a lot of folks had no idea it was like and I would hear it all the time I can't my mind won't stop uh, I can't meditate uh, my thinking just drives me crazy Oh, we're going to talk about that kind of in the meditation right now. We're going to drop in. So find a comfortable spot. Make sure that your back is supported. And you're sitting up straight. Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes. Now, it doesn't really matter where you are. If you're driving, no, pull over. I'm just going to sit for 10 minutes or so. I'm going to bring you into your body. To become aware of your body. Remember that there's this being becoming aware of your body. That's more you. And your body is not you. It's a vehicle. It's a beautiful unbelievably functioning vehicle that we we have. I'm so grateful for my body because it's taken me some amazing places. It's been a beautiful trip. So we breathe in through the nose into the body. When we're conscious of our breath, it brings us into this moment. Be aware. Awareness is power. Where awareness brings us into the moment where all power is, where infinite intelligence is, with, you know, where all power is in this moment. <coughs> Just for a minute, we're going to leave everything else behind. Leave behind the idea that you are a man or a woman. That you're young or old, that you're married or single, that you're a mom or a dad or a son or a daughter. Just leave that all behind. Just for a minute. We can pick that up in a, when we're done. Just leave behind the, the idea that you're healthy or not so healthy, that you're rich or you're poor. Any of the things or ideas or concepts that we attach to, just leave them behind. Everything's perfect in this moment. Nothing is missing. Now, as we're sitting here, Thoughts will come, and thoughts will go. We'll even have a thought, and we'll think, oh, I must remember that for later. Just let it go. It's important it'll come back. We are not our thoughts. We are not our mind. Our mind works for us. We are beyond the mind. In this exercise, in this moment, in this meditation, we just get to watch it as it spins. Like watching a tree in the wind, moving, swaying, leaves blowing off it. It's still a tree, and it's not us. Same with the mind, just let it do what it does. The trick is to not get attached. If the wind's blowing leaves off the tree, we don't run out to try to hold them on, do we? We just know that that's what's happening and that's okay. The same with the mind. When thoughts come, try to get our attention. 
just recognize it just like leaves in the wind just let them go just let them go nothing to do thought does come and it gets our attention and we start off on the path that that thought's going to take us on just come back to our breath when you realize that you've been sucked in if you will just come back to the breath witness the breath witness the breath Breath brings us back to now. Okay, I'm gonna just drop you in right here to this opening, to this space, into nothingness, into oneness, having left all concerns, all thoughts behind all concepts, all beliefs, just leave them outside, I'll pick them up later. Then we become empty. Empty is free. Nothing to do, nothing to be, we simply are. Nowhere to get to. any sounds, just allow them, just include them.
wonder if thoughts come. I just let them go. Be the observer. Watching, witnessing. we drop in deeper and deeper. So bring yourself back slowly. Bring yourself back. Feel your body. Feel the space that you're in. <clears throat> hey, Daryl, Susan. So I just want to mention that sometimes ego will judge meditation. Ego will tell you, you're not very good at that. I'm here to tell you that you can't not be good at it. There is no good at it. It isn't getting it right. Just practice. In time, you know, and I don't know, I mean, we don't know anything about anything. You know, but there's a possibility to become still to really become aware of, of who we are, the oneness that we are. Bill Wilson in the We Agnostics in the big book of AA said that God either is or he isn't. Either he's everything or he's nothing. And somewhere in some of the scripture it said, be still and know that I am God. So what happens is that an awareness can come, a beautiful awareness. And then we, we realize, we become self-realized. We're like, oh my God, <laughs> no pun intended. And, uh, and we feel it and meditation can help us to be there. But ego will say, oh, what a waste of time. You're not getting it. You're not very good at it. Your mind's just so crazy. So recognize that we've all had those thoughts. And just let them go. They're like leaves blowing in the wind. They're of no value. They're bullshit. Okay? <laughs> okay, you guys, love you. Um, I'd asked earlier, make a comment. You know, what is your addiction? What is your go-to that you use to take you out of the moment? I'd put a little list together, you know, gambling, food, sex, Drugs of all sorts. Smoking sometimes can be a way of unconsciously taking ourselves out of the moment. Um, of course, 
against alcohol. <clears throat> but there's many. There's many. So just maybe make uh, offer a, a comment of, you know, what's yours? Okay, you guys. Anybody ever want to chat, call me. We can uh, talk about life, love, freedom. Okay. Love you.